My name's Stuart Ashton. I'm Director of Operations for Black Magic Design in Europe, Middle East and Africa. Um, I'm here at ISE um, on the Black Magic booth and I'm going to talk to you about one of our new products this year um, that is kicking off 2018 with a bang. Um, on my left hand side what you're actually seeing here is our latest camera in our camera family. Um, for many people it looks very similar to an Ursa Mini Pro 4.6 but it has some significant differences in that whilst using the existing um, external body of the Ursa Mini Pro 4.6 um, what we've actually done is we've replaced the sensor um, with a smaller sensor um, and we've put a B4 lens mount on the front of the camera and we've really focused this camera into the broadcasting live space so the name of this product is the Ursa Broadcast um, it has many of the features of the Ursa Mini, uh, Ursa Mini Pro, um, which includes onboard recording to SD card and CFast. It has ND filters. It has all of the, um, the knobs and dials and switches on the side of the camera, which means that you don't have to go through all of the software functionality of the camera to operate it. Um, but I think that where this really excites a lot of people is that um, when you consider the broadcast camera market, um, there are many alternatives out there, many options out there. Um, and this is a market that really has um, been able to provide incredibly high quality imagery um, through standard B4 lenses, both SD, HD, and now larger B4 lenses for Ultra HD. Um, but what if you could take one of those B4 lenses and put it on a camera like this um, and get incredibly high quality um, broadcast images um, for less than three and a half thousand dollars. So the camera body, three and a half thousand dollars, and um, on the back of the camera, what you're seeing is a fiber converter. Now this is two and a half thousand dollars. So you're looking at what what we have here is basically a full camera, as a lens, camera body, the shoulder mount kit, the viewfinder, and the fiber converter, probably for less than less than around about fifteen thousand dollars, including the lens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this round the back and I'm going to show you this fiber converter because this is an entirely new adventure for Blackmagic. Um, when you work with um, a camera over long distances you have a couple of options. You work either battery powered um, where you're recording directly to the camera body um, or you take a live SDI feed from the back of the camera and you run that across uh, a moderate distance. What this fiber converter does on the back is it allows you to take a, sim, uh, a single SMPTE fiber cable which carries not only your video feed and your data feed, but it also carries your power as well over a distance of over a kilometer. The camera can actually be powered over two kilometers if you wanted to use the onboard recording. But not only that, it also takes rever re um, uh, return video feeds as well. So I can actually send video to the camera as well as taking video from the camera. Now on the back of the camera, this has all of the controls and functions that a typical studio camera or live production camera would need. So things like tally, intercom, um, it has controls for things like the um, ISO settings of the camera, um, and all of that can be controlled from the back rather than having to use the connection on the side. Now once you send that video feed down that cable, if we're a kilometer away, two kilometers away at a truck or in a studio environment, what it then needs to have is a, another element to it which allows you to take and intercept that video feed. So what you're seeing here on my left hand side is the Blackmagic um, Fiber Studio Converter. So this takes that fiber feed and on the reverse side of there we have SDI on the back. We have professional audio connections too. So we can then break that out um, into a typical SDI based infrastructure. One of the other nice features of the camera as well is that if I turn the camera this way it's quite hard to see from there, but down here we actually have an Ethernet connection. Now what that means is that in the future, we'll be able to open this camera up to IP. So you'll be able to take a single IP connection and run that all the way back to um, an IP-based router. So the camera, the fiber converter, the studio converter, which is $2,995 uh, as well. We're talking for an entire camera chain around the $10,000 dollar mark and then obviously the additions then of the uh, of the lens um, typically this would be a probably 10 times that cost um, so when you're actually thinking about 4k you're thinking about HD you're thinking about a broadcast em um, environment where you're working over long distances and you want to send all that video feed back to a central point 
this is a product that might just be um, out there that could change your, uh, change your life. Um, if you want to find out more information about the product, go to blackmagicdesign.com. There is a whole load of information on there. There's also examples there of extended video mode with our sensor showing the 12 stops to dynamic range from this camera. Um, you've got some, um, some information on there about how the camera functions and how the camera works. Um, we're going to be at ISC for the next few days. We're also going to be doing a tour around Europe with these products over the next few months. Um, so, you know, any questions, please feel free to come and see us.